be easy to say, the United States and China. The security relationships of most importance to Australia will continue to be that with the United States. That will remain pre-eminent. By a very long way, the relationship with the United States is the critical uh, relationship for us. Uh, that's because um, the alliance relationship provides a force multiplier for the Australian Defence Force, which the country could not afford. We also need to evolve a continuing positive relationship with China as China becomes an increasingly powerful and active player within the region and the world. So at one level, the two most important countries to Australia are the US and China. The more adversarial that relationship becomes, the more intense the strategic competition between them becomes, the higher the strategic risks Australia will face. If something goes seriously awry in Indonesia, it's very difficult and perhaps impossible for Australia to avoid the consequences. If something goes awry in the US or China, it's entirely possible that Australia can avoid some of the, some of the worst consequences. It's a toss-up as to whether it's a direct relationship with China or an alternative is to maintain friendly relationships with China but not beyond a certain level and to seek to form what I will call a network of neighbourly relationships. It would really make sense for us to build up security relationships with as many countries in the region as possible. With uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, uh, perhaps some of the states of Southeast Asia, and indeed at long arm's reach across the Indian Ocean with the great state of India.